chwe ye nye na. Ma minko ahumane so. Na minko ye jume e wo e ye zoom no so emra. Mene Professor Kweku Adams. Wano e ye Associate Professor e wo the International Business Management. Uh, e wo Bradford University Department no na anope. Uh, mene no e ni enkomo. Na in the United Kingdom ma wo ye jume e no. There is a lot of interesting articles uh, Prof. Atro in time past. Uh, the publications uh, may come across from Andrew Anajo, ABC Anope, na who advocate is baby a Ghana, yen democracy no ababedru no. I mean, comparatively, se ebane se yepe a blend of gender. Ah, a bit me as the affairs of this country in terms of leadership. Ah, baby a yedru no. John Mahama has taken the lead. And you know, uh, in selecting a woman as a running mate, and who aqua could hear said the NPP2 will follow suit. Prof Otemenka, good morning to you. And Pom to say, Good morning, Yamako. Very well. I don't pay, we are very much grateful. Uh, you came on to so to say, <laughs> and I can see you on my screen, and you are very, you are looking very well, uh, and very healthy, and very good as well in terms of we see you to no tie and you be yeah. But first off, and tell us the the rationale behind some of the research advocacy works are uh, why yes so far, uh, when it comes to detailing the competencies of women, uh, worldwide. Ebani say yemfa oba empatna bema in terms of presidential seats and a slot and gender inclusivity a bit to me abua ma i mean we will have gender i mean basis no balance and sana etimia bua leadership what has really motivated this worker uh war year any day we go so why year in times past you know thank you and before we start uh i want to lay down some few uh Caveats. Okay. Now, number one, when we say gender diversity or inclusivity, it doesn't mean it's a memory in our almost one. That's number one. Number two, it doesn't also mean that women should become leaders and men should sit somewhere. Number three, as all uh, Christians or the Christian teaching or the Islamic teaching, Quran etra about Emma and Emofra. The Bible also teaches about women and children. And even God Himself, He did not create this world by Himself. He said, mm. Let us make man. You know. So when you look at the diversity, uh, not only in terms of gender or race, but diversity of ideas, of thoughts. And and the, the reason why that is important is to avoid what is known in the literature as functional fixedness. Okay. So often in Papa Kukinawa, uh, and your man money in where he grew from, where he is now, or she is now, and uh, where he or she is going determines the kind of decisions they make. And do your bear my wagon and all bars wagon. Bringing these two together is what we call diversity. You okay. know, diversity of thinking, diversity of ideas, in inclusivity. And not because some of the issues we face, in fact, most of the issues we face in Ghana or for that matter, Africa, are complex, are not just single sided issues. So we need diversity of ideas. We need mm. inclusive thinking. You know, we need, we need eagerly. There's a woman, who, maybe we had a very eagerly in the 1980s. And all kinds of Emma will a very, very nurturing. So because of their background, you give them a, a seed, they produce a baby, and they nurture a baby. All of us, you know. So before, when TV will be talking, I said, ah, no, my man, I want to pink shirt, I want to turn on the Obviously, I mean, and my we need to lay those foundations. Like, when we talk about gender, I think that's all the major market their positions. Okay. And for the women, you know, so we need to lay that foundation first. Very well. Interesting. Uh, foundation at uh, Wale. And see, the, the emphasis on this particular advocacy, you know, NSA, uh, based on a research worker, why, you know, uh, countries, Ben, I went to me a sample, a bay proof, say, in countries, uh, Omo, Ama, and Ma, the opportunity, uh, to serve in leadership roles, you know, I mean, one more to me, I advance it, I progress it, the development of those nations. Yes. 
before we even go to the data, you have a new Rwanda. And okay. over Rwanda, one more uh, parliamentary system, the, the appointment of women into various positions, which are very diverse, Rwanda. Um, over here, UK had more. Emma, it me, or about me, basically, maybe you missed the major advice here. About the vice chancellor. The, 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 where I was working before that I came to Bradford, a woman was the dean of the business school. Mm. And when women are in positions, and that doesn't mean that men are nowhere to be found or should be pushed out. But there's this there's this nurturing admonition about women that they bring a unique perspective. I am not just saying, who was a secondary school? Uh, who's your background? Just say, you know, I, 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 I used to be single, you know, and I knew how my life was. And when I got married to her, I know how my life is. Okay. So, so those, those things are very crucial that we don't just think, you know, one-sided. Because who can, when you're counting, you count one, one or two, one or three. Mm. You need all these diverse numbers to make up the numbers. So when you look at the general picture, that's the one. Two, over European or the any developed country, the stock exchange, there is a gender diversity quota. Before our company betting your listing on the stock exchange, you know, any serious stock exchange has it that you must have certain percentage of women in not just in managerial roles, in top management decision making roles as okay. I working your listing. And most of these companies who said their shares, their profitability, decision making, these companies tend to grow a lot. Whether mm. it's FTSE 100 or New York Stock Exchange or Japan Stock Exchange, you see German Stock Exchange. We have French, the French stock exchange, or France for most stock exchange. You know? They even, even have more gender diversity quotas. Mm. That's one. Two, data, my first data, you know, we look at emerging markets, okay. basically all the developing countries, mm. including uh, most of the growing China, Nigeria, all this, all the South Africa. And it, we have here, just let's look at innovation. So, what the human company said, a man and Give you how they manage it. They manage okay. it. Okay. So the market, the Let's see how they also manage it. And we saw that when you bring women on the top position or to the top positions, innovation increases massively. Second paper, you look at just open innovation. Open innovation, how open the firm is to work with other companies to generate new ideas for innovation. And as you hear, it makes a massive difference. So, okay. so the conclusion is that when you look at the politics, when you look at the running of the organizations, when you look at the running of homes, you know, if you look at market women, schools, children, and all of that, a prior year, those things we need to factor all those things into our political decision making, into our running of organizations. No wonder Ghana Stock Exchange, the total market valuation of the Ghana Stock Exchange is so small because there are, there are none of these issues that we are looking at in terms of promoting women in the top position mm. very well I interesting dynamics and then analysis uh uh and pay all educated as on but i mean in major of those corporate entities uh wabodi uh presumably udeta no hl said in entities uh yema a man opportunity to be in top management positions you no know, area successful where you make a comparison of the fact you say uh, I mean, in Europe, in America, before a company ever enlisted on the stock exchange, you know, as I said, the top level management, you know, a ma account. I mean, what is that particular distinctiveness? Ah, a one ma huntia. Abe is so important, sir. At any point of decision making, you no, know, we will need a woman to sit at that level of a uh, year, highest level of decision making. At the end, a distinctive ma, you know, Ma a man or a dancer, Emma woman so it's me a heavy place in such a position. Yeah, find your mommy answer because we cannot talk about everything because of time. Okay. One literature actually confirms that women are caring. Women so are caring. They are caring. So okay. when you give a woman a position of authority, they don't mess about. You know, they want to make sure the right thing is done. I mean, so all your members also want one and one, we don't want to make a decision. I like, hey, hey, we you. We you. They are caring. They don't, men are, the men have an attitude, they are very, you know, they want to profit maximization. They are, they, you know, driven, you know, 
performance driven men are performance driven but the woman will always take a bit of caution that we need the prophet but let us do it right okay that's one women are caring two women are nurturing so they tend to see if if you give a woman a position they want to make sure that they grow you know they grow that position they grow that business they grow that environment that system, whatever you give to them, they will try to make sure it goes. And that, that, let us not be, um, the, you know, let us not be one-sided in mm. saying that all women are like that. But the data shows that most women are like that. And literature confirms that. And women are also very, when it comes to CSR, corporate social responsibility, supporting uh, inclusive, other inclusive ideas. Uh, let's bring women on board. Let's bring children on board. Let's try to help. Women will always look at the long term. You know, they always think about the long term. And so these, these qualities are very crucial when it comes to um, making decisions. And in fact, apart from all of this, that you need a different, you know, I mentioned earlier about functional fixedness. That if this is the direction you've set to go, mm. and no one is advising you otherwise, there's a P, a case, yeah. But the women have these qualities, nurturing, caring, futuristic. And because of that, they would always tell you, we need to do the right thing. So Obama, now Obama, the tendency say, Obama, bet me and Brazil fans, it's higher than Emma. You see. So mm. these, these are the things that we need, these, these diverse ideas, these nurturing characteristics, this uh, caring attitude, caring heart. Because the woman will always think about my children, while the man will jump on something else. Please. Okay. Because of all these qualities, we need to, and I'm not saying that we should get rid of all the men and bring all the women. Okay. We need diversity of ideas, diversity of thoughts. And and lastly, okay, Ghana a population. Am I a 58 plus something percent? Mm. Oh. So how can we are making decisions for a group of people who are not involved, who are not engaged? So, so that's that's where this is coming from. Very well. I interesting. Now, uh, the three points I would admire, you know, uh, the, the interest I, I develop, you know, has to do with the nurturing. Now, has the Ghanaian women, average Ghanaian women, uh, been able to prove herself, say, when given the opportunity, obetimi afadibia, a year in the uh, smallest quantity, na yebeka se oben necha saadi, you know, masadi, you know, ababe grow, ababe yekesi, what are the examples that we can really cite in terms of case study? Ah, I don't know a better basis for our discussion to say, say, under the Fourth Republican Dispensation, ye, a bread associate, as I said, ye ma, a man, so the opportunity to represent at the highest decision making levels. Okay, era, uh, Kesman, uh, Kesman, uh, 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 you know. Well, I selected Obama as the running mate, which yeah. is very well um, acceptable. He's, he's done a good decision. He's done a good thing. Oh, yeah, Professor Nana. Uh, Apoko Ajima. Yes. Yes. He's achieved a lot in her life as, as, as an individual. Um, she's nurtured and cared for not only her children, but many, um, many, uh, many boys and girls around the world. So that decision from the NEC is very well acceptable, very good, mm. good decision. And we suppose that just to be balanced, you see. Um, if you look at the NPP as a party, uh, there are a lot of women um, uh, that have accomplished a lot, um, you know, that we can call on. And the list is endless, you know. Uh, Oge, if uh, um, uh, honorable, Is it a chief of staff you want to mention? Yes. Yes. So, Prima, so, Prima, Prima so uh, um, yes. Okay. Let me go back to. I've uh, got some some information here. Let me go back to that. And to here, yeah. Hi, ninety-two point nine. We are live on TV as well. Yeah, Professor Peku Adams. Yes. 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 Yeah, Oje or Asala Osu Ekufu. Mami, I you know my baby, what to me? I I done where this will be waiting me a handle and yeah, so our party. So Oje and Penny saying, Yeah, mommy, I will now to 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 see Ado. 
on those who are achieved a lot in their own life and carried along so many other people along with, with her as, as an individual. Uh, who is the current chief of staff? I mean, and you can see the amount of work sh she has done for 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 the county, not just for the MPP, because you know, let's let's be balanced here, not just for the MPP, but but for for the nation running uh, President Kubado's uh, government, peaceful, you know. So why don't we try these women who have achieved a lot in women uh, in in politics that are women? In, in when you look at the religious religion, you know, churches, women doing great things. When you look at um, corporate, corporate bodies, corporate organizations, women doing great things. There are examples, so many examples. When you think of your own mother and how much work that she's put into yeah. your life, it's and into your development of women mm. that we don't even need to call names out. And for me to now, I'm, and I'm looking for information from the last article that was published just to make sure that I don't call the names uh, wrongly. But that is what all of us must consider, that we were all raised by a woman. Uh, what contribution did the woman make in your life? And, and, and take that contribution out if you will be where you are today. That's a challenge I throw to everybody who's listening. Very well. Now, Prof, two two final questions. Now, uh, yet me I wrap it up. Now, you mentioned Professor uh, Jenana Opoko Ajeman. Now, at the mention of her name, uh, she's come under scrutiny. And then the critic, no, uh, the only concerns, no, and it's uh, uh, the woman is not popular uh, in terms of winning majority vote for the party NDC. And then the people are equally, I mean, questioning what she brings on the table uh, onto the ticket of John Dramani Mahama. Obimo Esusu said, because say or lack of popularity, uh, one need charisma. In fact, we appear a domo said that into a need nechi bebre. And then in times past, why are you silent? I want to mean kasa vehemently on certain policies. Ah, ebi a wanon so ebe fa wobe champion. I mean, people feel say her ticket as running mate to John Mahama no, will not really bring anything. And then a busy good example is what transpired in the 2020 general election. H how do you respond to critics who make such assertions? Number one, um, it's not something that we have done before in the past. Mm. So anything new, you, you people struggle to accept anything new because, you know, as a mental threshold, there's so far that people can go when it comes to accepting certain things. Mm. But when you introduce anything new, uh, anything uniquely different, people tend to, it takes time for people. And I think, um, somebody did a, a, a paper a theory some years back looking at the early majority, the mid majority, those like innovation and paradoxing. We can link that. So it's historically, Ghana had the ASA, say, that opportunity. So it's the first time. That's, that's one. What we have to really understand is that um, not all women are good at blepping out and churning out. And being so forthright when it comes to showing the policies and ideas and ideas that they are going to bring. Because women naturally are the ones who stay back to actually bring their like, you know, when you have a um, helicopter flying, mm. the engine is so, is so strong that if you don't have that propeller sitting at the top to create the balance, it will go down right to the straight down. So mm. women behave like the propellers, the engine is so powerful. But the propeller is what st stabilized the, 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 the helicopter to go straight and to fly effectively or to fly properly. Even though we're going to have, a, the, 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 it's going to be an accident. Okay. So the women, as the women are the back and they are serving as advisors. They are serving as providing promptings, directions. This is the way we do it. Let's think about the future. Let's think about the children. You know, you know, this, this, this is going to be too much for the people. That is what they yes, bring on the table. Right. And we don't That's need to see line. before we try it. The evidence is there in our own lives. Any man can, who is married will tell that um, their lifestyle or the way they live mm. was different from when they got married. That alone is enough example. Any man can say that when I was growing up, my mother's contribution was so significant. You know, So exactly. historically, we haven't done it. Okay, let's look at one more point. 
our institutions, the formal institutions, the informal institutions need to, in fact, education in general in Ghana needs to change to see not women as, as, as a burden, but as equal contributors to growth in society. Extremely crucial. So our institutions, the formal institutions, the informal institutions, uh, the children, the, the boys, the elders, must learn to know the value women bring to the table. Mm. And I think those, those those three things are very crucial. That we haven't done it before. That's mm. why. So it's normal for us to say that what is going to be the contribution. And also, much more importantly, we don't have to weigh the contribution of a person just in terms of vote. Now we have the vote. How about the governance? How do we govern? How about the growth? How about the going back to IMF? How about the World Bank issues we face? How about the challenging unemployment situation that we face? What let's put women with this man and let's see the changes that we're going to see as a nation and as a society. Very well. Now I bring you to the, the final aspect of this interview, which is my last question, uh, presumably. Now it, it has to do with the fact is uh, in all this that we talk about, you know, I mean there are several precedents. Ah, you bit me aside. So for instance, uh former president Kofu set the record straight by giving you the first female chief justice, uh, her ladyship Georgina Wood, former president Kofu, a e e e e e no? na e e e da. that is a strong arm of government. Now, you come to the late Professor Mills, Obeye president, a e e e former speaker of parliament, Joyce Bamford Addo, became the first female uh, speaker of parliament. John Dramani Mahama, Setty an example of selecting a first female running mate. Should he win this year's election? Mameno Ebeba Beye, vice president. Then Nanado Dankwe Kufuado gives you another record of ensuring say, affirmative action Beye Juma, I mean, to a large extent, and to amount a first female uh, chief of staff. Ah, or no, no, in the last seven years, he was still the affairs of the presidency. I manage the component of the office of the president. Now, the question I put is that Ghanaian women are, are holding such important key positions for all the arms of government. You know, have they really proven to the Ghanaian people say they are women of substance? Uh, should we give them the second highest office of our country? They will be in a position to deliver. So lovely. I think we go back to the names that we mentioned earlier on. Uh, Yemami uh, uh, as the chief of staff. I think she's got um, an outstanding record, and they can attest to that. And I, I, well, personally, I have not heard of any allegations of corruption or misuse or abuse of all. A fantastic job, and we need to celebrate her for the great work that she's done. Mm. Hey, uh, Dr. Joy is Rosalind Ayi. Everyone knows her in a contribution to education. Uh, and uh, you know, the wonderful work that she's done in terms of nurturing uh, people all, all, all over the world. Uh, everyone knows what work that she's done. Uh, Yemami Irene Nato, she adored. Everyone knows that the, the wonderful work that she's done but to Ghana in general. I think the key challenge is for us to now put our resources where our mouth is. If we say we love women and that, you know, if you go to um, most the constituencies, most, some of the most effective of the parties are women. Mm. Um, effective when it comes to campaigning, effective when it comes to going to houses, house to house, Touching people uh, and actually uh, lending a hand of support for children who love and all of that. So women are effective when it comes to the uh, campaign machinery at a grassroots level. I think sometimes we tend to forget that the the the, the caliber of women we have in Ghana. I am very sure that if one of them, well, at least let's let's look at uh, Yevapa or uh, you know former President Mahama. He's, he's put his mouth where his, 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 you know, his resources where he's saying that he wants to change this, he wants to bring that, he wants to do that. He's actually going to be a I think it is in the best interest uh, as, as we grow to.
to not only to uh, do try and error, but to okay. see where the data goes, where, where, where the data, what the data says to involve women in, in these uh, top positions. And I'm very, very sure that we're going to see a country change because, as I said before, everything I've said, this engine is powerful. We need that that bad propeller to stabilize it. Kesman and I'm sure if, two points nine. if uh, you sit know, down the current leadership position, uh, uh, you know, Honorable uh, President Kupuwa uh, uh, has done it, former President Kupuwa has done it, and, and uh, uh, flag bearer uh, Dr. Baumia can also do it. Because mm. there are examples to show. The one yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was, bro, that was going to be my direct question. Does Dr. Baumia need a woman to partner her merely because uh, former President John Mahama asked your banner. Of course, the data shows. I mean, I think all the, the things that we've said so far, women are caring. Um, women, um, are women are people that bring stability. So the data shows that. And, and there is an example from, uh, uh, from, from, from my former President John, John Mahama. So I think the ball, they say, is always in your court. I think he should uh, he should he should put his 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 his, his resource where his mouth is because the evidence is there the data shows that data confirms that and as 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 somebody who used data I cannot prescribe to him to say that this is what you have to do but the data confirms that women are fantastic when it comes to uh, bringing what you call it um, checks and balances to decisions so if you want to succeed. Let's think beyond the elections. I think that's where we need to go. Let's think beyond the elections. Now we have the elections won, won the elections. How do we govern? I mean, data shows when it comes to governance, women are fantastic. Very good. And we have, I'm giving you examples of women who have done a great, a great We should put our resources where our mouth is. And I will encourage, in fact, not only Dr. Baumia, all the political parties to make sure they have women as running mate. And I'm not saying all the men should vacate their position uh, and for the women to come and take control, but we need to have this balance to create a balanced approach to economic development, not only for the politicians, but for all Ghanaians. Very well. So John Mahama has shown the way uh, the NPP uh, may equally want to follow suit, uh, if I get you right. Yes, that's right. Okay, I I'm told to say you have a conference coming up uh, in the coming month. Uh, I don't know yet about the air. Oh, yeah, conference, you know, we're looking at SDGs and we want to look at, you know, inequality, okay. diversity, gender diversity. Um, and we are taking a multidisciplinary approach to solving some of the challenges that Ghana and, for that matter, Africa faces. So we put ourselves together, all the Ghanaians, Ghanaian scholars in, the, in, the, in, the, in Europe and, in fact, all over the world put ourselves together. The Ghana, we are called the Ghana Scholar Society. And if you want to take part of our conference, they can go to our website www.ghscholars.com and the call for papers is there. Just anyone who wants Kesman to participate can submit two page extended capsule or full papers. You are happy, we are happy for, for us to receive your papers on gender diversity, <laughs> to receive your papers <laughs> on inclusivity, on any business organization that you're running on cases. And, and, and that's going to happen on, on June 19th to 21st at the University of Bradford in the United Kingdom. Uh, to attend this conference, only £100. It includes the dinner, uh, lunch, and breakfast, but participants must pay for their own hotel. So we look forward to it. It's open to all, everyone you know, who wants to partake and take part of the conference to come and share the ideas. But particularly because of this morning's conversation, those of our friends whose work focus on gender diversity. I'm particularly interested in that. I Thank see. I see. So Professor Genano Pokwajiban uh, is a perfect pair uh, for John Bahama, right? Yes. That's right. Prof, I don't pay, uh, I'm grateful for your time all the way from the United Kingdom. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we're in Combo BM. Why? That's Professor Kweku Adams, Ada Meneno, Eddie, and Komo from